Today on the North American Journeyman, we play one of the big dogs in CONCACAF. Probably the biggest club, Club America in Mexico. In the Champions Cup, round of 16. Normally I'd give us a chance to pull the upset against a club like this, but we just had one of the worst off-seasons I've ever had in Football Manager. Let me show you what happened. Okay, so the season ends and Mina retires. We knew that was coming. He broke his hip. It is what it is. It's official now. Kind of sad days because he was the, my first favorite player. Probably my favorite player so far in this save. Although our striker Barnett is looking pretty good. So he goes out and we get the end of season report. And our budget is slashed by the board. We've been running the club into the red a little bit, as you can see. Trying to force our way into glory, which we have done. We've succeeded in what we came here to do. But they slashed the board. It's normally 350000 or so, down to two hundred eighty-five, And I go, well, that's not good. And then a couple of days later, this has never happened to me, but they revert our status from professional to semi-professional. I talk to the board about it, try and ask them to go professional again, and they say they don't want to take the financial risk. They're happy with our current level. We go, well, our current level is that good because, because of how risky I was being with the finances. It's Dominican. Hey, what are you going to do? So as soon as that happens, I go, might be time to jump ship. I look in the staff uh, job center, and Alahualenzi is available. That would be like a dream job to continue on in this save, to go and complete the next two tasks, which are win the Caribbean, excuse me, win the Central American Cup, and to win the CONCACAF Champions Cup, because we're probably not doing it with Delphines. So, Alahualenze job, I apply right away, and I get linked to it, which is a good sign. I still don't have any coaching badges, because Delphines have never allowed me to go. But... It's about a month later into the off season, and I haven't heard anything. And then the fans laugh off interest, which is kind of delayed for me, a little strange, but I was like, well, that's never a good sign, but sometimes you still get the job. Then about a week or two later, they finally decide to not give it to me. Oh, and I pissed off the board when I applied for the job too. So that was unsuccessful at Alahualenze. The coach that Alahualenze picked up was the head coach of San Carlos, who just won the league, or the closing stage of the league in Costa Rica. And they also just won the Central American Cup, so they're also in the round of 16 in the Champions Cup. So I apply for that one, and they turn me down right away. So it hasn't been a very good off season. We can only train twice or three times a week because we're semi-professional, we're overstaffed, we're well over budget. I can't really bring in any players. We were able to bring in some of them, but we have had the draw. But we have had the draw for the But we have had the draw for the CONCACAF Champions Cup. We got the first round bye because we won the Caribbean Cup. But we have to play the winner of Olympia in Honduras and Club America. And so we're up against Club America today. Here's the finances. It's not a good situation. We'll show you the team. We were able to bring in some of the guys on loan that we had in from last season, but we're pretty much the same team. We tried to play friendlies to get fit. They've gone well. We play in Estadio Azteca, which is a 90,000-seater stadium in Mexico. We get a little cash for television rights. Not as much in the home game, annoyingly, but 
Hopefully we get some of the some of the ticket money too. And if we win the round, we get 250k. So if we win this round, we might be able to ask again to go to professional at my work. I'm gonna actually ask for a coaching course again for the eighth or ninth time. We keep we keep looking at jobs. We might have to go like second division, Costa Rica. But I don't want to drop down too far. I would like to go to maybe Honduras or Guatemala. But I think we're done in the Caribbean because of we've accomplished what we wanted to here. So yeah, Costa Rica, Honduras, and Guatemala are the three leagues that I would basically consider at this point. But today we're on to the game. It's Club America. We're in the Champions Cup. They smashed Olympia from Honduras. We've got a bunch of players on the bench. Um, I guess I can show you some of the random ones that we picked up in the offseason that look like pretty good little prospects. This guy, American and Romanian second nationality, number 10. He's on cheap wages. And Cord's requested to leave. He pissed off the team, so I had to say, yeah, we'll let you go so he can break into the Dominican national team. I don't know why he's not playing for them at all yet, but he's not. And that was, that's pretty much it. Cesar Alarcon, he's a he's got holes in his game. Center midfielder, another American. All the young Americans that are have horrible personalities. Well, this he's fairly ambitious, but most of them are volatile and stuff like that. They all want to come here. We weren't able to pick up another right back, so Juan David Gonzalez is still training it. He's doing okay at it. But we picked up Tyler Moss. American, 26-year-old, he's on a high wage, especially for us now since we're semi-professional. Pines is fit and ready to go. We were able to get Gabriel Romero back in for his third season in a row on loan, the center back who can't head. Got Martinez, Montenegro in the middle. Thompson obviously on the right. Becerra's back in fit again. Abulashov on the left. We weren't able to bring in, um, I can't remember his name, the left winger. Who is kind of the backup option to Abulashov, but Kords is kind of the backup option there now until he is forced to leave. And then Barnett, obviously, up top. Playing a little more cautious, a little bit more dropped back in. We want to try and hang a little bit in this first game, see what we can do. Against Club America. Uh, nobody's expecting anything. Let's just try and get them a little bit relaxed. It looks like full stands. I really hope we get some of that money. Any players I recognize? Zendejas, I think, is a beast. Esteban. Yeah, this guy is this guy's good. He's got 11 caps for the U.S., FC Dallas Academy player. Yep, it's going to be tough to get a result, but we'll see. It's always important to score goals. We have confidence. Starkly different tactical styles. I don't know what their tactical style is. I haven't even looked at it. I don't want to say that. That's what soccer is all about. Different tactical styles as we literally play the same formation. They're probably like high press, like very high press would be my would be my guess. So we might get absolutely wiped off the map here by Club America. Hopefully not though. And we're underway. I think we still have We'll just go key highlights. Now we'll go extended. This is the Champions Cup. This is what we're all here for. Early highlight here. Gonzalez down the left wing. They cross in. Esteban's there. Don't I uh, thought they might have given away a penalty there. They take it out. It's our ball. Early action there. Bulashov clips it downfield at least. We're going to sit back hemmed in here probably a lot this game. 
Hopefully they don't get too early of a goal. Zendejas cuts inside, rips a shot. Slate makes the save, though. Packed Estadio Azteca to watch Club America play Delphines del Este. The header up. Montenegro can't get there. Slayton grabs it, though. We're trying to play out of the back. That might not be smart. But I'd like to get a little bit of possession. And we have an attacking corner. It's Valencia. He is the club captain now. Crosses in near post. Can't get to it. Abulashov can't get there. Valdez might be on his own here. Valencia takes it away. Smart. Good job from him getting back. Try and build it out of the back here through Romero. Cautious. Patient. They're closing down. Pines. Good. Plays it forward through Thompson. Maintaining possession okay here. Martinez. That's not a great pass from Martinez. They play Esteban. Try and play Zentejas out wide. He finds Valdez. Rips a shot. Working in a smart position. We'll give him some early encouragement. Come on. It's all right. Don't need to go crazy. Their center back's on a yellow. I'd love for them to go down a man. Yeah, I've never had a club revert back to semi-professional. I've played a lot of low-league stuff. Usually it's pretty easy to make money, but we literally can't sell players. Zero dollars for all of them. This looks like a pretty good attack for them. Lots of numbers. Zendejas, Valdez. Can we close down? We can't. And Club America's up 1-0. You felt it coming. You felt it coming. Gonzalez out wide. Good header down from Zendejas. Valdez just spanks it. Romero's got to do better. Stick a foot out, son. Do something. We don't want to leave here down, you know, 4 nothing or something like that. So, oh, Gonzalez skips right by Moss. Esteban now. Zendejas is just going to destroy us. Esteban's in on his own. It's two. We're going back balanced. We got to do it. We got to play better than this. The low line isn't working. They're just working it in. Actually going to do one more. Barnett's ill-disciplined. I feel like he doesn't show up in big games. He'll score 34 goals in a season, but oh, I can't change my tactic. From this screen, no, don't discard all my changes. There we go, tactics. We need to force him outside. All right, 2-0 early for Club America. The other non-MLS Mexican sides have actually played pretty well. They've all lost, obviously, but like Saprisa almost came back. They lost on aggregate. Wow, my players are walking through mud. Why does it change that sometimes? That's kind of strange. This is the one I normally play on. Foul from Gonzalez. Yellow card, please. Portmore from Jamaica did okay, but they went out. Dunbeholden did okay, but they went out. Header up. Guidinho snags it, though. Clutches it to his chest, and America builds again. Are we just going to get absolutely destroyed? Did it change it to full match? It did. Okay. Sorry. I was, I was going to catch that eventually. I don't think you guys want to watch the full match, especially if we get smashed. We don't have a shot. 20 minutes in. It was always going to be tough. Thompson doing some weird activity there, trying to head it out. Espinoza. Gonzalez plays a good ball. Zendejas misses any, the easiest opportunity they've had to score a goal. Should be 3 0. Maybe even more. We're not looking too good. Uh, 
I mean, we kind of need the money. Here we go. Thompson, what can we do? Can we break out here? Abulashaw's in a good spot. Use that dribbling. Go by him. Cross to Barnett, or Thompson, rather. His header isn't anything worthy. Grow back into the game. Remove gets stuck in. No, we need to we need to hit him hard. We're not doing anything today. This is probably gonna end up a goal. I just want to change Valencia. Up the field. Far post header. It's in. Off the underside of the crossbar. I don't know who got beat at the backside. It was probably Valencia. 3-0. We're not ready for this level. I mean, we have a pretty good team, though. Is that that's probably Romero? It's Pines. Pines is six five. He just jumps out of the way. Well, I'm throwing a water bottle in the in halftime for sure because this is disgusting. I don't know what that is. We're trying to play out of defense. We're gonna go down four. Is Esteban on side? I think he's off. He might be on, and that might be for nothing. It's awarded. Yikes. I mean, there's literally no one out here. Your team just doesn't listen to you when you have bad attributes as a head coach. Lozano has... A hat trick in the first half. We might, we might really get embarrassed here. Our dynamics are pretty good. They haven't dropped too much. Esteban might be through in on goal. Should have scored that one too. Did he make a save on that? Slayton, who's playing a 6.2. Valencia's on a 6.1. Boys. I guess we berate. Yeah, this is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. It's not like we were expected to win or anything, but I was hoping we could at least hang with them a little bit. They're definitely outperforming their XG, but their chances have been pretty clear cut. They should even have five. Like Thompson's here in the right back position. Here we go. They're playing a high line. Bulashov chases it down, though. It's going to be him. He's going to be one-on-one -on, -one on goal. Takes the shot. Cadinho makes the save. It would have been nice to at least score a goal on Azteca. Romero's on a 6.1. And that is the first half Throwing a water bottle. Woeful performances. We can make five subs. I think we bring out Valencia right away for Ramos. I guess we gotta try and attack something here, huh? Oh boy. Yeah, we need to do something. We'll step up too. We're going to at least try and score a goal. This is embarrassing. We're obviously we're not going to watch all of this. So we're going to go back to key highlights cuz we probably would watch we probably would have watched every highlight that they showed. They got me flustered here. Barnett Bad first touch. They're in the midst of a season, which always gives the Mexican clubs an advantage, even over the MLS sides. MLS is just getting their season started. So outside of injuries, they're always just kind of like, you know, more fluid. Play better. It's five. You got to be kidding me. I mean, we're not at America's level, but we're not this bad. 
We're not 5-0 bad. Oh, this is painful. But it's hilarious. I mean, what the hell are we doing? Seriously. Slayton's on a 6.0. Bulashaw's on a 6.1. Cords can come in. He likes winger, even though he's left, even though he's right footed. I don't know. A Tardo come in for Thompson. We'll give Barnett a little bit too. I'd like for him to score a goal. Thompson, header, no, we got nothing. We can't create anything. I'll just keep berating him the rest of the game. Five nil's harsh. Their goals have been tap-ins, but five nil is harsh. Martinez hasn't looked good. Montenegro. Moss, can he place somebody in? Make a pass. Barnett's offside. It's like they're asking for us to do this. Slayton's on a 5.9. The offside goal, yeah, I mean, he's just, he's like, come on, pass it already. Becerra, do something. Nope, we're just, we're not ready. We're not ready. And I'm just about ready to leave Delphine's Del Este. Because we might not even be competitive in the Caribbean Cup. Considering that we're, we're still basically the same team. But dynamics are never going to be as good. Tactical familiarity, fluidity is never going to be as good because we're semi-professional. Martinez takes a shot. Underside of the crossbar. Doesn't go in. Atardo. Back to Martinez again. But Sarah, let's check out the new guy, I guess. Barnett's just going to keep playing. Let's check out a Yonku. Go very attacking. Demand more. If they grab a sixth, it's a penalty. <laughs> it's a penalty. It's going to be 6 nil. Oh... This is a long, this is a long episode. We'll show you the second game though. Not that it matters. We'll just do key highlights on that one. There's no way we're coming back from this. Slayton doesn't even move. Slayton's dropped. We signed him permanently. Instant regret. Instant regret. He doesn't even move. Oh. This is one of the worst losses I've had in Football Manager. It's kind of to be expected, but like, really? 6-0? We came out cautious. Barnett doesn't even go for it. Cords, come on, can we get one back? One, find the pass! It's there for Moss. He scores it, though. And we score a goal in the Azteca. Come on, boys, get another one. We'll watch it back because this is the only good thing that's happened the entire game. Not even sure if Montenegro meant to pass it back to Moss. But that's a really good finish for Moss. Low down against Guadinho. Can we get a second? Doesn't look like it. Down 6-1. Uh, I don't think that was your best effort. Thrashing arms. Throwing a water bottle at the goalkeeper. Defenders. Woeful. Furious. Furious. That was pretty bad. Well, all right. Tell us, Captain, what happened out there today? Well, we played like garbage. We did enough to deserve a victory. Yeah, it's my fault. Um, I didn't do what I was supposed to do. Polling final score. 
Um, he should score more than he does. That yeah, was good. It was, it was a goal from the right back. Okay, well, <laughs> that was crap. To be expected, I suppose, but we'll be back for the second leg. All right, we're back. 6-1, can we overturn it? I don't even care. Let me show you something. What's that? Oh, that number's... Wow, that number's white now. It's not red anymore. Well, this hasn't updated yet. Um, I don't know if I'm blocking it, but that's gate receipts from playing in Estadio Azteca. We just made $860,000 for playing one game. So we're in the green, or the white, now. Unfortunately, they still turned down my coaching course because... I think because maybe this hasn't updated? I'm not sure. But they didn't go for it again. And I can't ask to go professional because I did so recently, but I think next time I ask, we'll probably be able to do it. I can ask to increase some of these things. I just asked to increase the payroll and they turned me down. So I don't think they've really come to terms with the fact that we have all this money. They're trying to figure out like, what, what do we do with this? We should, should we buy a bunch of cocaine? What should we do? So... So that's why you take the gamble, and that's why you throw money, throw caution to the wind. We're going with the same boys. I, I thought I had the goalkeeper on loan from Argentina again, that Slayton kind of dislodged last year, but he wouldn't come back on loan again. So we're basically just going to play over. Is there anybody I want to see, really? No. Valencia's captain, so I'll keep playing him. You know what? We're going to play Juan David Gonzalez. He's training this position, wingback support. He doesn't know the role, but whatever. We played so bad in the last game, I don't think it's really going to change much. Moss scored the goal. I pull him. Hilarious. Anyways, so we're rich. I'm still looking to move jobs, though, because we, we accomplished what we set out to do. Can you play like your... Can you not play Quinones and Valdez and... Lozano and stuff like that. You already smashed us. Yeah, I want him to fight for the jersey. It'll be a battle. He plays because he deserves to. Romero? I don't know if that's true, but... Alright, let's try and not... give him double digits. If we can keep him under 10, I'll be happy. Should just be key highlights on this one. Yeah, we don't need to watch us get obliterated. More even game. They're probably they're just like, what? We don't need to do anything. It's six one. We should try and go for it a little bit though. Maybe we can do something. We're playing a little better. No highlights. We might get zero highlights this entire game. They spanked us. Here we go, first highlight. These crosses are just shocking. Crosses are looping, the headers are looping. We just have no directness about us when we play against a team like this. I was asked if we just weren't up for the big occasion on behind the big crowd. And that's that wasn't a great run. Is that the highlight? Okay, it's not. We go on here. Barnett, it was the highlight. What, two dribbles and a shot that had no chance? That was kind of interesting. Quinones. Is that an attempt at a tackle there by the left back? Valencia trying to impose something here. They're just going to walk right through our line. Slayton has been horrendous. I might take him out at halftime. We have a youngster, American, but he's not ready to play. That's, come on, Slayton. I think maybe two of these goals are on Slayton. That one for sure should have been a save. He made one good save in Estadio Azteca that I remember, but most of their stuff was kind of well-worked tap-ins, but man... Come on, build. Do something. There we go. Pacera, good ball out wide to Thompson. You find Barnett. He's going to loop across. 
or just drive in on his own and take a shot, get one back. 1-1, one, 7-2 one, on aggregate. All right, guys, just score five more. Weird. Weird camera shift there, but apparently it's to us. It's Thompson steals. Try. I like the idea, but the pass just didn't have enough juice on it, and it wasn't accurate enough. This should be us, though. They're not really pressing us too much, which is good because our players don't have a lot of composure. Barnett doesn't lose it. Nice. Plays Thompson. On David Gonzalez. Should have been making the run down the sideline there to help him out, but he doesn't. We're fouling. We're trying to do everything, but they're flooding people forward. It's Esteban through. It's another one. He misses it somehow. Yeah, press always. Everybody. Thompson cuts inside. Penalty or just take a shot. Thompson's doing some work today. Or winger with one determination. Well, I mean, it's not like they're trying too hard, but this is a little bit more like it. We've only given up one goal, so that's good. And we shouldn't have given up that one. Where's this going to go? Header? No. They're going to clear it out. Martinez, can he get there? He does. He holds it in through Valencia. What can Pines do? Becerra, find Barnett, run down the middle. Montenegro gets that wide. Bulashov, cross it in. Don't take a shot. Takes it anyways and scores. Nice. We're winning at home. If we could beat Club America? Hey, we're only, going, we're only down four goals now. We scored on both of our shots on target. Come on, guys. Keep it going. They're still complacent. Keep it going. Keep it going. Grab another one. I don't think we can score four goals in the second half. But at least 7-3 is slightly more respectable. Shameful? The first half wasn't shameful. We owe them, though. Keep going. Barnett. Easily the best player on the team with the highest potential, and he has just been completely absent. Come on, boys. I think we're going to do this. To try and go for it. Um... What can Montenegro play? We'll leave Martinez. We're going to go like this. Ball winning midfielder. Support. Becerra's going to drop in. He can play Mazal on attack. We're going to play two strikers. With Chiati. I think he can play. I guess he's more right footed, isn't he? I think he can play Poacher. Not complete forward. This shouldn't be gold. That's a bug. They need to fix that. It's been that way for too many, too many years. Too many years. Too many years. Um, put you on attack. Valencia, wing back support. Gonzalez, you can play complete wing back attack. We'll push up the lines a little bit. Pass into space. Work a little faster. We need to do stuff. We need to make it happen. I still think I'm going to take our goalkeeper out. Because there's not too many other changes I want to make. We're not doing anything. Come on, we need four goals. Just four. Says he hasn't played bad. Lopez is going to make his debut. Who else wants to come in? Gonzalez hasn't really done anything. Yeah, we could bring in Iyanku or the other. I kind of want to bring in Iyanku. 
for Martinez. He's more of an attacking player. Deep line playmaker support. So now our midfield has no defensive ability whatsoever. Close up shop, take the win. Take the win on the day against Club America. I'll do that after that embarrassing first leg for sure. But who cares? We got the money. That's all I care about. It would have been nice to try and make a run. The Club America draw is always going to be tough, though. Pines. Good header back. Hey. Pines hasn't looked too good. Romero's playing a whole lot better than he did in the Azteca. Lopez. Kiati. What was that from Kiati? That was some weird movement. Zendejas has got inside. Valencia can't get there. This is going to be a goal for them. They're going to tie it up. Penalty. Come on. Oh, Ionku, of course. VAR. I thought it was maybe going to not be a penalty, but it is. And the youngster, Lopez, gets to face a shot against Valdez. And misses. Two to two. That's okay. It was Ionku. I brought him in. That one's on me. Eight. Three. Horrible pass from Ionku. Trying to keep the pressure on. They're probably going to score here, aren't they? Valencia. All right, Gonzalez, do a little something. Thompson driving down the right now. Cross, that's a better cross. Chiotti, really good header floating away from goal. But it's off the woodwork, and it's 2-2 two two still. I guess we'll just keep playing Gonzalez. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe bring in Cords. Crossed in. Let's bring in Cords. He still wants to leave. I'm getting offers like daily for him. We'll bring him in for Thompson. Who's played good, but... I mean, it's either him or a Bulashov. He's the more tired of the two. It doesn't really matter at this point. We're still going to try and find another job. We're still going to... Oh, they're wide open. Get, get, oh, just a better cross. He just needed to find Barnett and it would have been a goal. Kiati, another chance with the bicycle kick. And he's off the woodwork twice now. I mean, it was worth it, I guess, to watch that. But a better cross from Thompson would have been a goal. We're pushing for the winner here on the day. We know we're going out. We haven't given him 10 goals, so that's something to be proud of. There's still time, though. So Honduras or Guatemala, Costa Rica would be the dream. Falls to Barnett. There we go. 8-4 on aggregate. We're more respectable here. Obviously, they were complacent the entire game probably, but... Take a win over Club America. 3-2 to two on the day. We needed to win by five. That did not happen. All right. Um, yeah, always all the dialogue tree options are always about like disappointment because it's considered one game, but I'll just say good job. And they're pissed. They're mad because like we won on the day. Like we, they should be happy. We should have won the match. Yeah, like, they need to fix this. How important and how many competitions have two-legged ties and the dialogue trees are all wrong? They're all like... <laughs> figure it out, SI. Figure it out. Houston goes through. Monterey goes through. Well, we're out. I don't think the gate receipts are going to be too high for that one. I'm not going to talk to anybody. Finances? 
Yeah, it doesn't look like we make a lot of money when we play at home, but in front of 90,000 people, we sure do. So that's going to end the, the day, the episode. We'll be back. It'll be kind of just our season's just about to get started. Maybe we'll be here for a while yet if no jobs pop up. But I'll probably stay in this job until another one comes along. Because now that we have money, I should be able to get coaching courses. But who knows? So that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. If you stuck around here to the end, appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. It didn't go how I wanted it to go, but we made a boatload of money. And that's all that matters. Time to go play on the beach. I'll see you next time.